Hey guys, Ben here. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to turn some yellowed plastic into the white again. Now this is white on this side because someone left it outside like this for too long and the UV light has turned the white plastic yellow. So in order to get this turning white again, let's make a run to Sally's Beauty Supply. Look for developer. If you ask for some help, they should know what you're talking about. 40 references the percentage of hydrogen peroxide is in this and so we are looking for the highest number possible uh, without going too overboard 30 is okay 40 is what I'm gonna do they have 50 and I think they actually have higher than that now we have two different types we have the clear version and the cream clear is basically just a liquid which we would have to submerge our whole part into but since they have a cream we can just smear it on this is much more convenient and much more efficient so we're gonna go ahead and get the cream one Okay, so we're going to take our stuff, hopefully not get this everywhere. And I'm going to put it over the whole part, even the part that doesn't need the whitening, simply because I don't want it to turn yellow in this process. That'd be kind of stupid, because the UV light is what turned this yellow in the first place, but the hydrogen peroxide in this is what will turn it back. And now that that is all coated, we're going to take our Ziploc bag and put it in there. Now this stuff isn't exactly dangerous for your skin, but it's not something you want to keep on your hands, so just make sure you wash your hands off afterwards. And I'm not quite sure if it works on the orange part, but you can see that that's kind of discolored, and I run into that a lot, the orange being discolored. So we might as well give that a try and see if that works. It's very important that you don't let this dry on your part which is why we're putting it in the bag, because it would evaporate. But we don't want this to dry on the part because it will ruin it. However, if your part is too big for a plastic bag, wrap it in cling film, and that will prevent it from evaporating so that you won't have any troubles. Just make sure that it's all sealed up and stuff. But you don't necessarily have to have a plastic bag. So I've put this outside at exactly 2 o'clock p.m. This needs to be left out here for about 4 or 5 hours. And it's in direct sunlight. And about every hour or so, I'm going to come out and just kind of rotate it. Because obviously the light's coming from one direction. And we want everything to be even. So try to set it up as best you can. Make sure everything is in the light. I'll set my alarm and come back in an hour to rotate it, but that's kind of boring, so I'm just going to skip this process. So it's been about an hour, and I was about to turn it, and I realized uh, it's still moist in there, I'm, it's still covered and everything, but uh, and it is actually working, but for some reason I just feel like I should put another layer of this on there. I don't think it's necessary, but uh, just for the record, I am putting another layer on there, so I'm going to put it out there and turn it and put another layer on. So I'm back with these parts, it's 5 p.m. and I'm kind of running out of daylight so I kind of had to stop this experiment short. If it was up to me, I'd keep it out there for another hour because it's only been out there for three hours now. But it's actually working pretty well. You can see a little bit of yellowing in person, you can't pick it up on camera. But it's just a little bit of yellowing. You might be able to see the shade difference from here to here ever so slightly. So I'd keep it out there for maybe an hour longer. But it's definitely worked, and so this is the first time I'm doing this in person, so it's kind of cool to see the results. But that is definitely a whole lot wider. Note, it did not work for the orange piece, unfortunately. As a matter of fact, I think the rest of it got a little bit more bleached. So don't use it on colored parts, but for white parts, it actually worked really, really well. Unfortunately, I did forget to take a proper photo of this before I actually did this. I don't know why I forgot, but I have a comparison photo here, and hopefully that will give you some idea. You can see that the picture is a little bit darker, but it does still represent very well how much of a change this is. And if it was up to me, I would leave this out for probably another hour or two just to fully whiten it, because it is just a little bit yellow. You might be able to see the line right here where my thumb is. But in any case, I think it came out excellent, and hopefully I can have some more tips like these for you guys out in the near future. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.